He abuses me in English. And he is so arrogant. He says I am rubbish. He no longer wants me in cruel jokes. He laughs at me. He says I am primitive because I cannot play the guitar. He says my eyes are dead and cannot read. He says my ears are blocked and cannot hear a single foreign word. That I cannot count the coins. He says I am like sheep the fool. Oko treats me as if I am no longer a person. He says I'm silly like the Uju insects that sit on the beer pot. My husband treats me roughly. The insults. Words cut more painfully than sticks. He says my mother is a witch, that my clansmen are fools because they eat rats. He says we are all kafirs. we do not know the ways of God. We sit in deep darkness and do not know the gospel. He says my mother hides uh, charms in her necklace and that we are all sorcerers. My husband's tongue is bitter like the roots of the lion or lily. It is hot like the penis of the bee, like the sting of the kalang or cause tongue is fierce like the arrow of the scorpion, deadly like the spear of the buffalo ornate. It is ferocious like the poison of a barren woman and corrosive like the juice of the god. My husband pours scorn on black people. He behaves like a hen that eats its own eggs, a hen that should be imprisoned under a basket. His eyes grow large, deep black eyes. Of course, eyes resemble those of the now perk. He becomes fierce like a lioness with cubs. He begins to behave like a mad ahina. He says black people are primitive and their ways are utterly harmful. Their dances are mortal sins. They are ignorant, poor, and diseased. Oko says he's a modern man, a progressive and a civilized man. He says he has read extensively and widely. He can no longer live with a thing like me who cannot distinguish between good and bad. He says I'm just a village woman. I am of the old type and no longer attractive. He says, I am blocking his progress. My head, he says, is as big as that of an elephant, but it is only bones. There is no brain in it. He says, I am only wasting his time.